So we're out here in the city of Norco at the Cowgirl Cafe, and I'm here with Karen. Karen, hi, hi thanks Joel. for having us out. Thank you. Thanks for coming. So tell me first of all, how long has Cowgirl Cafe been here? Um, we've been here since 1998, okay. and um, 16 years. Yeah, my husband and I bought it back in 2007. Uh, before that, we were regular customers. We lived here in Norco, and uh, we always said it'd be nice to own the cowgirl. And then when we found out she was up for sale, we we were able to buy her. So uh, we've been owners ever since 2007. We are out here because one of your fans, who happens to be one of our fans, right, right. highly recommended that we come out here to come and enjoy. So talk right. a little bit about what makes this place so unique. Well, I think it's the down-home style cooking that we have here, um, wonderful comfort food. Um, we're very well known for our breakfast. We've got a large breakfast menu. Um, and we serve lunch too as well. We're open seven days a week from six to two. And uh, everyone just seems to love our food. Love the food. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I, I had a chance to actually uh, watch mm -hmm. some patrons but there were pancakes that were delivered in front of them. There were three pancakes. Yes. The lady was probably in her late 60s. Uh -huh. And the look yes. on her, she even gasped. But, yes, <gasps> yes. That's <gasps> very common around here. Yes, our portions are huge. And uh, that's one of the things our customers like too, is they're able to share if they want to. So when you took over the Calvo Cafe, was it called Calvo, Calvo Cafe? Yes, okay. it was, yes. And yes. what changes did you make to it? Well, we pretty much kept the menu the same. We have added a few things here. We now have my homemade chili on the menu. Okay. And uh, that's one of the things that we've added. But pretty much kept it the same. So people that have been coming for year after year yes. know what yes. to expect. Yes, they know what to expect, exactly. And we have customers that come from Los Angeles County, San Diego County, Orange County all the time. <laughs> people from far away and near. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, I mean, what... what Made you guys, I know you said you wanted it would be nice to own the Calgary Cafe, but to actually own a restaurant and make things. How long did it take you guys to say, hey, let's do this and here's why we can do it? Well, um, it's just something that we'd always talked about. We would come here quite often, probably about once a week on the weekends, and we just fell in love with the place, you know, years ago, and <laughs> we sort of like fantasized about owning it one day and uh, how nice it would be, you know, once we were retired just owning the restaurant and working here and and then when it, we found out it was for sale you know we went for it and we were able to buy the cowgirl so, so. this isn't much of a retirement is it no it's not really you really can't say you're retired uh, yeah. definitely because you're you're pretty much working seven days a week and on call and all that good stuff so any regrets no no <laughs> regrets it, it is tough it's I have to say it is tough but mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun too we, we get to meet a lot of wonderful people I always like to give a disclaimer uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with Inland Empire Explorer or watching for maybe the first time we always try to go to a location well after the breakfast rush or well before or after their lunch rush so that mm -hmm. if you can't see that clock right behind her head it is what 20 till noon right. and we've been here for about an hour and it has been consistently busy for the entire time what right. is going on right here? right we serve breakfast all day <laughs> so that's pretty much why okay. <laughs> people will come in for lunch and have breakfast so they say, now are you open for dinner hours at all no okay no not for dinner right. do you have those regulars that come in like you know daily mm -hmm. do you really have yes daily we do regulars? Every every morning, this counter is full, and the guys there's usually eight or eight eight guys waiting at the door before we open at six o'clock in the morning, and they're all regulars. They come every day, and they all sit here around the counter, and yeah. oh yeah, every day. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Oh my gosh, that's a good question. Uh, well, uh, my favorite omelet would have to be the kitchen sink. Okay. Um, we've got four different meats on there. We've got ham and bacon and sausage, kielbasa, and mushrooms, uh, tomatoes, bell pepper, onion, and uh, it's delicious. It's, that's one of my favorites. So what's your second favorite dish here? Um, I'd have to say our pancakes. They're large, fluffy buttermilk pancakes. Oh, mm -hmm. I forgot. Part of what we heard about this location is you have a very unique Pancake. Yes, we call That's him been our. The news and yes, we right? call him our Jesus pancake. Your Jesus pancake. Yes, and uh, I have him here today. If you'd like to see him. What Jesus? Yeah, the oh, Jesus pancake. The Jesus pancake. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. He uh, he came to us on Good Friday. And I you have it here still. Yeah, I preserved him. I sprayed him oh. with shellac. So oh, he's in a nice little. <laughs> he's in a nice little shadow box now, but. 
Um, so, so can people see them when they come in, or is it like if they like to, special yes. requests? And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, okay. Uh, where, where do we go? We can go. He's right this way. All right. Cool. Okay. So this is it, huh? Yep. There he is. That's, wow. That's our Jesus pancake. Oh my goodness. As you can see, he's he's on the small side. That's only because. Um, he, he was a Mickey Mouse pancake, because we make Mickey Mouse pancakes for kids. Uh-huh. So we took the ears off, obviously. So after you saw this, what did you do at that point? Well, after Amanda told me about it uh, and showed it to me on her, her phone, I came up to the waitress station to see it. And sure enough, there he was. Because I just couldn't believe it. And I thought pulled, they were teasing me. You I pulled really, it off the line and said, "Okay, yes, wait, stop." Yeah, I was afraid someone would do something with it. Why is there a crack in the? Oh, pancake? when during the drying process, before I sprayed shellac on him, he, he cracked down the middle. Okay. A Y-shaped or upside-down peace sign, whatever you want to <laughs> call wow. it. But yeah. Of course, it's a peace sign. Uh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Look at the pancakes and look at my head. Look at the size of the pancake and the size of my head. There's three of these things on here. Like, really? Really? Wow. Wow.